We are stuck in a paradigm that worships political correctness. Now, from my delusional redheaded point of view, being PC has become nothing more than a popular substitute for being kind, where political correctness gives people the facade of being kind so they don't actually have to be kind. That absence of real kindness means people live in fear if they were to say something that doesn't abide by the constipated code of conduct of the PC culture. But here's the deal. What if we realize political correctness kills creativity, connection, and kindness? Political correctness assumes people are dumb enough to be fooled just because the right words are being spoken. But we've all had the experience of hearing a politician say all the right things, yet you can tell their heart isn't in the right spot because you're not dumb. But maybe what matters is less about what's being said and more about where someone's coming from, what they, someone standing in their sovereignty, actually mean by what they say. So what is the solution to the fake kindness that plagues our world with infectious inauthenticity? Kindness. Real kindness shared by real people being real. Now, I might just be drinking a little too much optimism here, but I think together we can bring in a new paradigm of real kindness into our world, maybe even popularize it, and reimagine a world where we forget to be fake while we're busy honoring real kindness. Instead of being intimidated by angry people trying to manipulate what you say, don't say, and how you act, I say be motivated to double down on your kindness because it feels good and it treats people well and it gives you permission to be you because when you're just being politically correct, you're definitely not being yourself. And I know sometimes it's tough to choose real kindness over the artificially flavored version in the PC culture because we live in a society that glorifies reading off the script and is quick to demonize variations from it. But there is hope. People are wise. They can sense kindness, even when you're not reading off the script. So be bold and stand for something more. Be you, be unique, and unapologetically share your perspectives while being kind. Because what you have to say matters more than what the script says. Join me in the pro-kindness movement by being real and being kind. Or else I'll get mad at you!